Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. So I'm on here today just to give you guys a really, really quick overview of what GoodNotes 6 entails. So as you guys know, if you guys have been looking around at all, GoodNotes dropped their new platform last week um, on GoodNotes 6 and the new pricing feature and the new AI features is kind of what it's centered around. Um, and today I'm just going to show you the few updates that they have added to GoodNotes 6 to see if this is something that you want to pay. Um, to get the full version or if you want to stick with GoodNotes 5. I will say that I am gradually trying other apps um, in the background here and if I find one that I feel like is comparable or better to GoodNotes, I will be doing a review and possibly switch over in the future myself. I don't have anything personally against GoodNotes. I know they have mentioned some things before that they were coming out with and we've never seen them and it's been years, um, but I do know that they were able to make, I think, an Android or a Microsoft version of GoodNotes. So I know they're working on other things behind the scenes. And as a business owner, I understand that it's hard to um, appease everybody and get everybody exactly what they want. So I do understand the frustrations there, um, but we're just going to go over the pricing to see if it's worth it to switch um, and just see kind of what the new changes and stuff are. This is going to be a pretty quick video. They're actually, in my opinion, are not that many changes. I think the biggest pull is the AI math assistance and the AI like finishing out your words um, that everybody seems to be drawn to. Um, I can see the finishing your words maybe being beneficial, but I am no longer in school and a lot of the people that I know that use good notes are not. So that's really a feature that's pretty much going to be lost on everybody that is not currently in college. So getting right into good notes, uh, the main thing to note is um, to switch to to GoodNotes 6, there is a new pricing plan. Um, so you can give it a try, but that only includes three notebooks and just a few of the things and you get more if you unlock all the features for $10 a year, or you can pay $30 for a one-time fee and that is on our iOS devices. I do know that if you purchase one, um, if you purchase GoodNotes 5 within 2023, you can get a discount. Um, so if you look into that a little bit more, you can get a discount up to 100% off depending on when you purchase in 2023. And I think they just added that um, because they received a lot of negative feedback after they released GoodNotes 6 and people complaining that they had just bought GoodNotes 5 and now they have to turn around and pay for this one if they want it to continue working. Everybody's thrown it up in the air that we can keep GoodNotes 5 and yes I do agree with that but we all know how quick technology changes and GoodNotes is not going to re be receiving any more updates as far as I know of for GoodNotes 5 so you know that that's going to give you a very short term on how long you can use GoodNotes 5 because as our technology changes and Apple brings out different features, then GoodNotes 5 is going to become irrelevant. So definitely keep that in mind. I would say you want to switch to GoodNotes 6 or you want to start using a different software that you can get a handle on now before you have to quit using GoodNotes 5. So one of the main and obvious features is they updated their cover. It kind of looks like a smile here for GoodNotes and they updated their icon cover. Okay, so this is what the new user interface looks like. They've added a column over here to the side, which you can definitely take away, but it has documents, favorite, search, shared in marketplace over here to the side. I try to add different folders, ones that we get to all the time over here. That way, instead of finding it in different folders, it would be nice to have a few favorites over here, but it doesn't look like that works yet. Um, I will say that being able to change the cover colors to our folders is very, very nice. So to do that, you'll click on any of your folders, arrows, and then you'll see here that you get just a few options to change the color. And if you click on icon here, you can change your icon to whatever suits you. So those are two features that have been long requested and GoodNotes did listen and finally gave those to us. So you can do colors and add your icons so you can quickly tell the difference between each folder. I will say that I am using the dark mode on the iPad itself, like in settings so mine may look a little bit different than yours and if you want to get this look you're going to go into settings and change it to the dark mode instead of light mode okay so here is my open planner here for september one big change that they made is instead of having the pencil over here that changed it from edit mode to um, viewing mode where you could do your links it is now in the center a lot of people that have changed to GoodNotes 6 said they like it in the center. They feel like it's more natural. Uh, somebody that uses this every single day and, and I'm older, <laughs> 
I hate change whenever it's something so little where they could have just kept it over to the right. But if that makes sense for them, it makes sense for them. So, so now you have this folder and the bar and you have, um, if you have multiple things open, you're still going to have your tabs. Everything pretty much say the same, except they made the writing gesture right here that's going to drop down um, your editing bar. And then you've got the keyboard, which I never use the keyboard. That's for the whole page. I always click on text and I put the text exactly where I want it. So this is pretty much something I would never use. Um, the ability to add notes has always been there, but they've got the little icon up here for easy use. So basically you can do your writing uh your speaking or your um keyboard so if i click on this you're going to see the icons are a little bit smaller across the top here like goodnotes 5 you can click on all of these and make different preferences on how you want them to work so with your shapes your highlighter eraser you have different um, things that you can either toggle on or toggle off. Um, they added that zoom feature. It's got a new little icon uh, label here. Um, other than that, there's just a couple of gestures that you can do now that's different than Good Notes 5. So one of the key things that they did, if I zoom in here and I add something written here like work, now, if I want to erase this, instead of switching to the eraser tool, I can just simply scribble it out and it will disappear. I can see the saving time and I really do like that new feature. I think that I would use that quite a lot. One feature that I am really excited about is not having to switch the lasso tool to lasso something. So you can see here I'm on the pen tool and I'm just going to circle this and then I'm going to hold down on that circled line and then now it's lassoed it and I can move it anywhere. I really do like that feature and I can see that saving a lot of time going forward as long as we remember to use it. Another one of the new AI features is misspelling. So I can write down Wednesday and misspell it and it will come up with a red dotted line. If we tap that, it's going to tell you you can either ignore it or you can have it to fix it in your own close to handwriting, the best that AI can do for right now. Assuming the longer we use this, that it would be more adapted to how we write. If I click on Wednesday, it is going to rewrite it in different handwriting, but they've got the word spelt for you and it still looks like handwritten. So I do think that's a really cool feature. Um, I do not think that it copies your handwriting really, really good. Some people I've seen it write better handwriting and other people I've seen it do worse. And then again, we can scribble to erase. Those are really the new features that GoodNote 6 has to offer. So in my opinion, you get to color and do icons on your folders, but it's limited. Um, you get to scribble to erase any words. You can lasso while still in the pen tool, and it will tell you if you've misspelled words and do it corrected in your handwriting. Those are the main features to me that I think are, are beneficial. Um, is it worth paying the $30? Probably not, but if you can keep using this app, I personally use this for a digital planner, and I think GoodNotes has done an excellent job with being able to use these PDFs hyperlinked files in the way that we can. Um, I Like I said, I am going to look at other apps and see if there's something better that's on the market. Um, I do think $30, if I just had to buy the app outright, I do think it's worth $30. There's definitely enough in the app that it's really, really cool. But an update from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6, it's really not. But like I said, if we want to keep using GoodNotes in the future, you got to kind of stay with the newest updated one, or you're going to quickly fall behind and not be able to do hardly any of the new stuff and may not be able to install it on new devices in the future as Apple releases. So I don't see any huge negative changes besides moving that main edit view tool right in the center. And I think that's something that we can get used to. I will say that all of my fonts and all of my colors stayed whenever it updated to um, the new good note six so that is definitely a plus if i click on text you can see all of my custom fonts are still there and then if i click on my pen and i click on my colors all of my colors are here so um i did not have any problems with updating it updated seamless for me and i did not lose anything all of my elements are there as well so that is a look at the new good note six i'm not going to go over the math features that they have they have where you can write out problems and it uses ai to figure out the problem or to help you and show you the steps i'm not currently in in college and I know that all of my customers that follow me that's probably not something that they're going to use either um, so that is a look at the new updates from a digital planner's point of view I hope you found this video useful quick and to the point to help you decide on whether you need to update to the new GoodNotes 6 thank you guys so much for watching today and I will catch you on the next one happy planning